All right, y'all, so I want to see is a 4090 all this hyped up to be. So I went out and bought a Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4090. This is supposed to be the end game. And we're gonna see, man, is this really worth it? Because I game it 1440p ultra wide. I would say my 4070 Ti Super was good for it, but I always feel like there was a little bit more needed. So I wanna know, is this worth it? Or should I just stop at the 4080 Super? So let's go ahead, get this unboxed. Now, as someone who's been using nothing but ASUS Tough cards, I'm gonna say Gigabyte package this very poorly it's like did you even care you know oh my god this thing is you feel me so when it comes to design coming from asus I'm not gonna lie this shit feel kind of cheap man it's all plasticky but we here for performance i do like how it looks i just wish this was metal I'm not gonna lie, I really like how the car looked once it was installed, especially with the RGB strips on the fans, but the question remained, how well does it perform at ultrawide? For reference, I'm using LG's 34 inch, 240 hertz OLED ultrawide, and my goal is to max out the refresh rate in most of the games I play online. First up was Fortnite, and I could confidently say it passed the test. At max settings DLSS quality, with no ray tracing, I was knocking out the full 240 hertz refresh rate with ease. The game was running so fast that it felt like my mouse sensitivity doubled and I ended up getting clapped. But like always, I pulled it together and began dominating the competition. Whoa, Next, I hopped into Call of Duty Warzone. God, I hate Warzone. In extreme settings, DLS quality, I was pulling around 160 hertz while landed, which is more than I've ever seen on this game matched out. What was most noticeable was how smooth the game was, because Warzone is a poorly optimized piece of shit that will turn against you at any given chance. I will say that the Gulag was maxing out the refresh rate, but it's the Gulag. You're fucked regardless. Multiplayer was a way better experience though, and the smaller maps allowed me to max out the 240Hz refresh rate, and I got some crazy quick kills that I could have only dreamed of in my PS5 days. Yeah, people don't kill me, I probably do. Oh. Crazy enough, the biggest improvement I saw was in single player games. For example, Hellblade 2 uses photorealistic graphics and I was pulling 150-ish frames with frame gen and match settings. And if you've seen this game before, it's essentially a real life movie being generated right in front of you. I'm talking next level graphics, bro. Like what? What? This is what games look like now? And of course I had to load up the poster child for graphics and everything ray tracing. Cyberpunk 2077. And with all sliders to the right, man, I was pulling 90 to 100 frames per second. And this is with full path tracing. This game looked beautiful. But the question remains, is it worth it? To me, the 4090 was worth it. But do I, would I suggest it for everyone else? Nah, I wouldn't. And hear me out. I think if you play it ultra wide, you should base it off your refresh rate of your monitor. And I have a few suggestions. If it caps out at 144 hertz, I think the 4070 Super is just fine. 165, 4070 Ti Super will get you right where you need to go. 240 hertz, yeah, the 4090 will kill it. But the unknown contender in this is for one day I had the 4080 Super. And I'm gonna tell you, I noticed the jump from the 4070 Ti Super to the 4080 Super more than I noticed the jump from the 4080 Super to the 4090. I think if you ever want to get the best of the best, you should stop and cap yourself out at the 4080 Super if you're playing it ultra wide. I'm gonna keep my 4090, cause I know me, I'm gonna push this thing to the limits. But yeah, that's just my honest opinion on it all. That being said, man, I think I'm 100% done with this vlog series. I cannot think of anything else to upgrade on this computer, nor do I ever want to. I think I'm set for the next five years. So if you've been watching my videos, thank you for the support. Feel free to comment below. But yeah, if you're interested in my other clips or any other thoughts I have, like and subscribe. I think I am gonna do a review of the PC gaming experience since I've came over. But yeah, that's my PC, man. Until next time, it's been real.